Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. 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 I'm gonna start doing this thing where I tell you guys where my clothes are from or what I'm wearing in the video. Yes, this is Bape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this is from ASOS. Um, yeah. But it's Bape, if that makes sense. So today's video is going to be absolutely fun. Like, I'm gonna have fun, you guys are gonna have fun, we are going to have fun collectively. So I decided to do something a little bit different um, from my fashion videos, since this is also a lifestyle page. Um, and I told you guys on Instagram to send over some assumptions that you have about me either before you knew me or now that you're on my channel because i haven't actually done like a um get to know me or anything like that so i just thought let me just see what these people think about me or like some crazy assumptions that they have so that's exactly what we're gonna do before we do that make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you like 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 like, like this video smash that like button if you want more videos like this, more chill and uh, talkative, I guess, um, make sure you subscribe and make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every single time I post a new video. And I'm trying to make sure this is a weekly thing for you guys and I wanna make sure everybody sees it if I'm gonna be taking so much time, you know? So, let's get into this video. I'm gonna be looking on Instagram at these responses. I'm gonna see, yeah, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna read them out and yeah, I'm just gonna read them out. <laughs> I'll see if I can put any of them on the screen. Cool, so let's start. Um, <laughs> the first one is, someone says, my first assumption of you was that you are crazy. Okay. I'm not gonna be talking so much. It's only right that I have some pure life. Mm. Jesus, it's so hot. Someone said you don't make new friends. <laughs> um, I'm actually very friendly. Um, I'm like a popular loner. I would say like I make loads of new friends and like I'm very like ooh, ooh, ooh. but like if you're talking about a tight knit of people like my G's like my my peoples nah not many of them so yeah like I'm very open to like um, associates but if you're talking about like friends and like my my uns try not to use the anywhere but you know my uns yeah i don't i don't have many of those i don't make many of those i'm not very open to having many of those simply because like me to be part of the tight knit of people that i have around me like that that requires a booth camp like when i tell you it requires a booth camp. I, I, I ask for a lot because I give a lot. So, as my friend, you must be willing to go through a lot. This one is, you're bougie, only the cool people. You only, okay, you're bougie, you only hang with cool people. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, I'm not bougie. Um, not really. I'm not really bougie like that. Sometimes, yeah, I'm, I'm very bubbly, yes, but there's sometimes when it's like, things are like awkward, like I just don't know what to say around certain people, so it might come off as bouge, but it's like, nah, I just don't know what to say, like, um, I only hang with cool people, nah, I hang with everyone, I'm very open, I'm like, I adapt well to different spaces, um, so no, I mean, I like to think I hang with cool people though, but everyone's cool. If you hang with me, then you're cool. Boom, that's what's up. You only wear designer clothes. <laughs> you only wear designer clothes. I was gonna say no, but then I'm wearing babe, and then it's like, duh. No, that's not true. I'm like, I'm not really a designer babe like that. Like, 
you know what? Especially when I was younger, I used to be the kind of person, if I had like, let's say I had 500 pounds, I'd rather buy loads of stuff for 500 pounds than buy like a very expensive item, like a t-shirt or like a very expensive hoodie for like 300 pounds and then I only have 200 pounds to buy everything else. No, I'd rather buy a cheaper hoodie 10 times then I have more clothes to wear because I go through my clothes really quickly. I change my style really like, yeah, I'm just, I get bored very quickly um, when it comes to like being creative and expressing myself. So like I need to switch things up. I'm not gonna just be wearing that one same expensive hoodie forever just cause it's designer. Works for some people, not for me. Um, obviously clients as well like so it obviously works for them and when people have that kind of money um, but now that's just not me maybe once um, I'm in a different tax bracket you know maybe then then we could talk the next one is you like white guys you right <laughs> um, yeah I don't mind I don't really um, discriminate with that I don't mind dating any race uh, white guys are très bien very very and the Europeans listen you can't just be any kind of you can't be a chicken and chips boy that doesn't work around it so Europeans yes especially the ones that speak English yeah but like they've still got the accent so it's like, and sometimes maybe they get like the tenses wrong. Ooh, yeah. Mm. But very clean, it has to be very clean. Like, he's got to be just a very neat white boy. I don't like like, people that smell like dogs. Mm -mm. No ma'am. You love dogs, I don't love dogs. I don't love dogs. What, huh? You animals, ah, uh, mm, mm. No, I'm not like afraid of like insects and all those things that girls are afraid of and stuff. But you see dogs, hey, 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 don't play me. He's all right, he's friendly, yeah, yeah, cool. Nope, not having it. Um, uh-uh, <laughs> no, no. I only ever liked one dog and that was in primary school and it was my, no, it wasn't primary school, secondary school. And it was one of my friend's dogs and she had it from when it was a puppy and then they had to sell it like two years after because it was getting too big or something like that. Um, and I was really upset. So yeah, that's all. That's the only dog that I ever like. Someone said, you have a hamster. Ew, what is that? Like a rat with whiskers. Does he even have whiskers? No. Mm -mm. I don't have any pets. I don't think I will ever get any pets. No, maybe when I'm really rich and like I don't actually have to take care of the pet. And like my help takes care of the pet. Yeah. Mm, maybe. This one says, you only like <laughs> light skin tall guys. <laughs> light skin? Mm, no. Brown skin tall guys? Okay, I'm not skinny. <sighs> Where they at now? Tell them I'm ready. <laughs> okay, no, um, I'm playing. Uh, light skin, I don't mind skin tone and stuff, but I don't really care, light skin talk. I don't really like pretty boys, like dark. <laughs> don't have anything against them, but I don't know. That whole like, no facial hair, everything just neat like a baby's booty. Not for me. Someone said you have a crush on Drake. Well, Drake has facial hair, but he's cool. Not really a crush for me. Someone says, <laughs> my assumption is that you were sassy, no, classy, sassy, nasty, bougie, ratchet. I think that's in the wrong order. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I'm every single one of those. Classy, yeah. Sassy, when I want to be. Nasty. <laughs> Bougie, so ratchet, oh baby, oh baby. Yeah. Someone says, my assumption is that you're a Well, to you, 
the person that's saying that i am what's up you good you good you all right what's good someone said you're a control freak so you date people shorter than you um well ah, you're trying to be funny mm, i'm not even a control freak i'm not even controlling like that like that i've just found that now in fact i'm not a control freak period <laughs> and i'm not really into dating people shorter than me um yeah i've never done that so and said they assumed i fancied them but a lot of people do anyway okay listen here punk i never fancied you shut up <laughs> they assumed that i'm fake and i am <laughs> you're dumb and um i'm not even fake i think even you would say i'm realer than most i just say things as they are um i'm learning that i need to sometimes alter i think i do this already kind of good but i need to be better at it um i need to alter and adapt the way i communicate um per person because not everybody can take that just being so straight and being so like i don't know blunt and real and whatever obviously still being real but just lay it down sometimes a bit nicer and sometimes a bit harsher that's just how it goes, isn't it? Last one, I'm going to read this loads of these Jesus. Okay, let's do one more. The last one is, um, you're a go-getter. Um, your goal is to work for yourself, not for anyone else. You are right and you are smart, my dear. Listen, ain't nobody trying to work for no corporation or like whatever. I mean, I have to do that for probably the next couple of years. Um, until I have something that can stand on my feet. I believe very much so though. I believe in working under either be it a company or someone um, and then growing and learning from them. You know, kind of like the putting in your hours and putting in your years thing. Um, and yeah, you know, learning and that. Then I can stand on my own because if I go out there now with what I have, I probably won't be able to carry and bear the burden of the world. But I'd rather be under someone else that's carrying all of that, but it's given me enough time and given me enough space to go and like worry about everything else whilst they're carrying the brunt of the world. I hope that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do um, more videos like this. This was fun. Um, it was very interesting to know what you guys think if you want to see a part two of this also let me know if you have any other video suggestions please do leave them in the comments or tell me on instagram make sure you follow me um, on all social media platforms instagram twitter snapchat let's get chatting let's get chatting oh my god honestly guys clearly the heat is going to my head Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.